Okay, so now you know the notes of the G major scale. So some of you might be having difficulty with getting some of those additional notes as you get higher on the instrument. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of simple exercises to really help improve your sound and improve your ability to play those notes. The first exercise is to simply start on the note you can play. So for example, if you can play D well, start on D and then move up to E before moving back down to D. Right, so if you're having trouble with E, start on the note you do know, such as D, and work your way up slowly like this. So if we're confident with the note D, but we want to move up to E, we start on D and we play that a few times. So make sure you're feeling good about that. Make sure you're confident with playing the note D. Now. As we play the note D, we're going to move up to E very briefly, and then back down to D, like this. So this exercise is really going to help you with getting more consistency on the note E. Alright, so repeat this exercise. Go from D up to E, back down to D. Now remember to tongue each of these notes as well. Now once we're getting confident with that, we can hold on to E for a little longer, like this. Okay, so now we should be improving on E. Just keep working on this. If it's still having problems, if you're still cracking, if you're whatever it is, just go back to the previous exercise of playing D to E and then back down to D. So once we build more confidence with playing E, now we want to just play E by itself, like this. Okay, so we're practicing a long tone just on E, right? So now we're developing our confidence with that note. Once we develop our confidence with that note, then we can start working towards F sharp. Okay, so it is getting harder the higher we go. So let's say you do know how to play E well. Now we're gonna move on to the same exercise, but going up to F sharp. Okay, so once we have the confidence with that, we move on to the second exercise, which is going from E up to F sharp and holding F sharp. So remember to tongue both of these notes as that's gonna make the exercise easier. So now that we've worked on that, we can just try and play F sharp by itself. Okay, so this is gonna take time. It might take sometimes days or even weeks to really get comfortable with playing this F sharp by itself. And that's completely normal and completely fine. But if you are comfortable with this note now, we can move on to trying to get the note G. So we start on F sharp and we move up to G. So again, we're starting on F sharp, going up to G and back to F sharp. Once we're confident with that, once we're getting the sound clear, once we're getting it consistent, then we can move on to the second exercise, which is playing from F sharp up to G. Okay, so this is the most difficult note to get. You might be cracking a little bit and that's okay. Just keep working on this, slowly going up the scale with these exercises that I showed you. And then finally, you should be able to play G by itself. So remember, as you're doing these exercises, you wanna be thinking about breast support. You wanna make sure your embouchure is in the correct position. And you wanna make sure you're not putting too much mouth over the mouthpiece or too little of your mouth over the mouthpiece. You wanna be coming up to that point where the reed and the mouthpiece meet. So you wanna look at that and you wanna place your finger right where the mouthpiece and the reed meet, just like I showed you in the previous lessons. So keep working on these exercises and you'll be able to play these notes with ease in no time. 
If you're having difficulty with that, trying to get a sound, maybe you're squeaking a bit, maybe there's some other problems, go through my beginner course, Saxophone from Scratch, which you can get at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash beginners. And I take you through everything step by step, starting with your first three notes, learning how to play the first few songs with only three or four notes. And once you've worked on that a little bit, this video should be a lot easier to follow. I also have a free membership site called Sax Masters Academy, which is open to everybody that wants to learn the saxophone or wants to improve their skills. I teach all the beginner stuff. I teach how to learn songs. I teach how to improvise and many more things. Go check it out. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash join. In the meantime, I put videos out every Friday, so please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you.